Hello everyone, my name is Philippe Mercier and I'm the CEO of Wordscope. Wordscope is a CAD tool using AI and ChatGPT that I would like to show you today. But first of all, I would like to thank Nora and Josh for inviting me to participate in this summit and for assembling such a fantastic group of speakers. I think this event is very important for translators because for several months we have been hearing everywhere about AI and large language models like ChatGPT and this generated a great deal of concern among translators. Will translators lose their job? We have seen that some agencies are lowering their rate. Does that mean that the income of translators will decrease? These are all important questions, of course. Today, I want to show you through a small translation project that AI is not going to replace translator or reduce their income. But I do think that translator will have to accept adapting to a new way of working or risk losing money and customers. Natasha, a translator in Canada, summed it up well. She said, the real magic happens when AI and ChatGPT are combined with the expertise of a professional translator. And that is what I want to show you today. But before, I would like to quickly say a few words about artificial intelligence. We'll be talking about neural machine translation. Systems like DeepL, Google Translate, they have been around since 2017 and are already being used by many translators. As you know, machine translation had real bad reputation in the past, but these new systems have nothing in common with previous versions of Google Translate. Then large language models, ChatGPT, Google Bar, they are fairly new, end of 2022, and ChatGPT is currently the most advanced model. But the competition is on its way and will soon see competition from Google, Facebook and some others. A few important points about neural machine translation. The quality depends on the style and quality of the source text, but it also depends on the data used during the learning phase. As you will see, we will be using several machine translation at the same time and they will produce varying translation, just as one translator will never translate in exactly the same way as another translator. And we will see that that comparison will be very, very interesting and useful. In the future, we'll also see the emergence of domain-specific engine. And one very important point, avoid using machine translation tools for short text strings or title as they are out of context and will most probably provide a bad translation. Benefit of multiple machine translation suggestions. Of course, they allow translator to compare the translation, choose the most accurate one or appropriate one. This comparison can also lead to a better understanding of the source text. Multiple suggestions can also help minimize the influence of biases by offering alternative translation that may provide a more objective perspective. They can identify ambiguities and address them, and also they will increase the likelihood to identify error or inaccuracies, as machines can obviously also make errors. Large language models. They can understand and generate text by imitating the human language. We'll see that they are applicable to numerous fields. They can translate, generate text, answer questions, explain a concept, and many different things. And they can also adapt to a variety of language style and format. That being said, it's time to move on to the demonstration. We will translate a full document to see how several machine translation and ChatGPT can assist us at every step. Wordscope is a CAD tool that can be used on any browser on Mac and PC. Let's create a project. We give it a name. We choose source and target languages and we can just drag and drop one or more files. It can be a Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and many other formats. Then when we are ready, we click on the Analyze button. The system will analyze the document, calculate the word count, and 
estimate the time needed to complete the project. In this case, it will be an hour, and that estimation is based on 2,500 words per day, and I would like you to remember that estimation. We click on Translate, the system generates a secret URL that you can share with a colleague if you want. But here, let's start the project by clicking Open Job. This is the interface of Wordscope. It's fairly standard. On the left, you have the text to translate. On the right, the target text that has already been partially translated because we have Google Translate connected, and we are ready to start the translation. On the right here in the blue zone, as I said, we have empty suggestion, but of course, we can have also a private translation memory that will appear first. We have some terminology that is highlighted automatically. If you want to check, you have the glossary tab here that will show you all the details. But today, we would like to concentrate on AI and ChatGPT, so let's add a few more empty systems. We go here in the Machine Translation tab, and we can add this one, DeepL Pro, Traduit, which is excellent, from Canada, Reverso, and Amazon MT. So we have six engines selected. We can also ask Workscope to put Amazon MT results in the second position. So let's see. So now, as you can see, in the blue zone, we have suggestion from all machine translation. We are also using a track change system. You see the red and green zone. They compare the current version of the translation with each suggestion. Red, if there is a, something added. Green, if suppressed. That system also allows us to compare the different engines together. So you don't have to read them all. It will be very easy to see what are the differences. So let's see, for example, here, this engine, it translates the term breast conservation. And this second engine, we can quickly see that it's breast conservation. So we will see in a minute that we'll be able to find the right word, the right way to translate using this system. But of course, you are not forced to use the suggestion. You can just accept the full sentence or rewrite it completely. So here, we just rewrite part of the sentence. It provides local regional control of presently inoperable forms, and I delete the end of the sentence. Then. I read again what I've said, and I see that there is a term local regional, which I'm not sure if it is the right term in this context. So I can select it and click the cloud search function, which is unique to Workscope, or you can do the same in the source text, and then Workscope will send that query to many online websites. You know, systems like Lingui, or Traduit, which are indexing multilingual websites. So instead of having to go to those websites, Workscope will do it automatically for you. So for example, here it finds a term in the terminology. Trex is another one where we can see the translation in context. Traduit is yet another one in Canada. And you have Lingui, of course, that you probably know. And another interesting tab is Google. So if you have a, want to have a quick access to Google, you can just click on one of these links. So that's really interesting if you want to see the translation in context. But also, we have that new function. We can call ChatGPT at any time by clicking on this button. That will open a ChatGPT window, and you can use it on the source or target segment. You select the text, you click the button. Of course, you could go to ChatGPT, copy, paste, but that is exactly what we want to avoid. So we have some functions here that are specific for translator. So in this case, we can click here and ask for a definition. And as you can see, without leaving Wordscope, ChatGPT will give you the definition. You can also just type a question. Okay, what is a local regional treatment, for example? Hit enter, and Workscope will query ChatGPT, and you get the answer here. 
So after you get that information, you are happy it's the proper word to use in this context. We can accept and go to the next segment. Here, what do we see? We see that very quickly again, I'm not reading every translation. They are nearly the same. I can read the translation. I'm okay with it, but I'm not sure about that term. So again, I can select it, click on the ChatGPT button, and use a very powerful function of Wordscope and ChatGPT, which is explain. It will explain what is selected in the current context. So that's very important. It's not a definition. It's gen explain. It's in the current context, in the current sentence. Again, we are happy with this definition. It was the term we expected, and we can continue. Here, we quickly see some minor differences. Then, by reading, we see that justify or not histologically, and there it's doing it histologically justified or not, so that may be a better way to say it, so I can just change that myself. Uh, and what were predicted. All right, I quickly check. So you see some are using unjustified, so were not justified, so I can quickly see some proposal. But here, if for some reason I want to change part of the sentence, well, here it's a simple example, but this is just to show you. I can use the alternative button. It will tell ChatGPT, please change just that part of the sentence. And it will show you two suggestions, with highlighting the differences again. And so you can check that and say, OK, that is what I want. This copy button allow you to quickly copy that in the edit zone, and we can check and continue. Here again, it's a simple sentence, carried out, conducted. Oh, we see that CNA was not translated by this engine, but was translated by this one. So that's interesting, because you see, if you had only one engine, you maybe not see that problem. So in this case, the, the, the track change feature allow you to see that. So we continue. Again, here, that's a preference. You can choose increase, rising, double-click to choose a suggestion, and go to the next segment. Here, it's a very interesting case, because, as you see, all the engine provide exactly the same translation. While it's a small sentence, it's probably all right. But Let's say that for some reason, again, I'm not sure about what is this term. I can call again that super powerful function explain, which will confirm that the term is what I wanted in this context. So we continue. And here, again, the comparison shows that RH, HR, RH, some translate this term, some do not. So again, I, I want to check that, and I see that the translation of one engine was wrong, and can, I can quickly fix that. OK. See if there is something else interesting. And I continue. Here, <coughs> I'm not sure that the translation is very good, but the source is not very good either. So let's use another function of ChatGPT, and we can ask it to rephrase the full sentence to see if it can come with a better proposal. Again, the track change feature allow you to see. If you don't like what the, the, the suggestion, you can click again, and it will make two other suggestions. And again, so here I like this one. I use the Copy button, close the window, so I can continue. And in this sentence, uh, I can read it, of course. And I see that you see that term. And here it's therapeutic standard, which is a better way. So that, wa that proposal was better. So I will keep it. And But 
there is something in the middle of the sentence that I'm not sure of, so I can select it again and will ask to see if SatGPT can get with a better way of saying this. All right, so it changed. Uh, that is interesting, but surprisingly, it changed also the end of the sentence, which I don't want to change. So I can just select that part, do a copy, and paste it into the edit zone. Then I read again this segment, and I, oh, I see that I forgot something by doing a copy copy paste, which shall wait. So I can just for press cancer. We save the segment. So we are already at the end of our document, but I would like to show you a few more interesting functions. Let me find an example. Okay. ChatGPT can do a spell check. Let's, let's create a few errors here and to see if it can correct my sentence. I call ChatGPT, clear it so we can better see, and use the spelling button. And of course, it will be able to find. And what is interesting is that it gives me some comments. So you see, you can still check if what it says is true, correct, and or such another way of, of seeing it. But the most interesting function is proofread. So I copy this. OK. Let's do a, a real problem. So we change conservative into radical and we'll change the number. We are not making a spelling error, as you can see. But this is not the translation of the source sentence. And let's see if ChatGPT can do that. And we'll see that the proofread function does a spell check, grammar check, but it also compares the translation with the source text to see if the translation is faithful to the original. And it will correct and give me some comments again. So as you can see, it could find all the problem, and it also corrected the number. As I said, no spell checker, even the best one, will find a problem in this sentence. But ChatGPT can do it. So I copy that, and I would like to show you quickly another example of this, to show you that it's not a, just a word-by-word -word comparison. So let's change that into high blood sugar, which is the right translation for hyperglycemia. But I make an error, and I say low blood sugar. Let's see if ChatGPT can see this problem. Guess what? Of course it can. And it gives me an explanation saying that hyperglycemia should be high blood sugar and now low blood sugar. So you see, this is very powerful. And we can continue adding some function like that to assist you during a translation project with the power of ChatGPT. Again, without leaving the interface of Word Group. Another function that is interesting in ChatGPT is terminology. So at any time, you can just click this button to ask, can you give me a few glossary entries related to the current segment? And here we go. So you have glossary entries, their definition in the target language, because we have no space here. If you want to see more, you can just click the button here to expand the window, and then you will see the source term, the target term, and the definition. You can, of course, select that, copy-paste it outside to Excel if you want. So that's another powerful function that you can call at any time. And the last thing I would like to show you, so we continue the translation. And at the end of the document, I've added a few sentences talking about tourism. So it's nothing technical like, like what we have just done. Because some people say, oh, machine cannot translate it, they cannot have fine nuance, and things like that. So let's give ChatGPT some special instructions. And we can say, for example, use a poetic writing style. And that instruction will apply to all the Wordscope function, to all the buttons, and to everything inside Wordscope. So let's click Translate. Again, it gives me two suggestions. 
and it explains the difference between the first and the second, the terms that he has chosen, and so again, it can be inspiration, it can be good at just as it is, is really an assistant. You should see it as an assistant. So that concludes this presentation. We've come, we are at the end of our project. What are the conclusions? Remember, the estimated time to complete this project was an hour. We, with the integration of AI and ChatGPT into work group, we could do it in less than 20 minutes. And we took our time to ensure the best result, right? So we could translate it three times faster, but that means that you can also translate three times more words in the same amount of time. For example, Shella, an English translator based in France, she said, work group has enabled me to double my turnover in 2022 while maintaining or improving the quality of my work. So I suggest that you try it because it depends on the type of text or join us for a Tech Forward webinar on November 28th at 6 p.m. with Josh for to learn more and enhance your skill. Thank you very much and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.